Hello, this is Adam from V Fuels, and um, I'm going to show you how to load up the Company of Heroes World Builder and how to make a blank world builder ready for you to make a map. Okay, so you're on your desktop, and uh, what you've got to do is find out where you've installed your Company of Heroes. As default, it should install it to My Computer, Local Disk, Program Files. Scroll down to THQ and it should be there in THQ and then Company of Heroes and then you'll have all this which is where either, which is where Company of Heroes is installed and any other mods you have for Company of Heroes scroll down and you should find this icon here it says Doc 1 on it and it's like a piece of paper it's called World Builder World Builder is installed once you've installed Company of Heroes, so everybody's got it, unless you've deleted it. L double click on that, and you'll load up World Builder. If you don't know how to find it, I'll click on here, and uh, this is the directory. Local Disk C, or whichever you've installed it to. Program Files, THQ, Company of Heroes, and then World Builder here. Yep. So double click on that and you'll load up World Builder. Okay, so double click on double click on that and you'll load up World Builder. It should look something like this. It looks pretty grey, boring, and all the sh icons and shortcuts at the top are all blanked out. To load a new map, you've got to click File and new multiplayer map or new single player map click on new multiplayer map and then type in the file name of what you want to call your map so I'll just call this test1 open that and wait for it to load okay so then this box will come up and it says new scenario on the top it's basically saying how big do you want your map and here's the sizes ranging from 1 to 8 to 1024 so I'll click on 320 by 416 that's width times length so that's the width that's the length that's the terrain size. Underneath it says playable area. This means the actual playable area in the terrain. Again, that's the same type of things, but it's limited to how much you've chosen the terrain size. So if I choose 1024, that'll go up to 1024. Well, I'll just keep it at that. So if you choose 384 by 448, you can then choose. 320 by 416 that could be your playable area so your the unplayable area you can then put down items so it looks like a background and so once you've checked once you've got the terrain size you want and the playable area just click OK then you wait for it to load it'll go blank it'll go to a black screen and uh, then it will load up a blank world builder the terrain size you've specified. There we go. Notice your terrain size is how you've told it to be, and also notice that the top all the icons have now become clickable, bar a few. You're now in select mode. This mode here. Okay, so you've loaded up your blank canvas, and now you want to see where the playable area is. Click on overlay and show playable area. That red line is showing you the playable area. So that means you can play in the inside the red rectangle or square depending on your terrain size but you can't go outside this area here. So person here, no person here. Can't cross through this line. 
okay so that is how you load up a world builder blank canvas ready for you to map check out my audio other videos to show how to look at the tutorials on how to map how to make them how to make modify and make a successful map using the basic tutorials I've made okay I hope that's answered your questions if not drop a comment and I'll uh, answer it and hopefully we can solve your problem this is Adam from VFuel saying thank you for listening goodbye and happy mapping